You opened it. We came. Here's your look at the Hellraiser 4-inch puzzle box stash storage tin. This officially licensed box resembles the Lamb configuration box from the Hellraiser films. It's a quality collectible made of quality tin. The Hellraiser puzzle box measures four inches on each side. I picked this up, by the way, over at Toink, and the price point for this is $13.99, so about $14. We're going to go ahead and measure this. I know I said four inches in height, but as I always like to do on this channel, is reassure you by using the Ultra Measure Tron. Now immediately you're probably seeing something a little bit different this time around. I'm measuring this in centimeters and then from there we're going to switch that over to inches. We're going to mix it up. We're going to mix it up. The producer's telling me you need to mix it up. Keep the public interest in, che in check. So starting this time around, this go around, we're looking at 10.5 centimeters, which then switching it back, we're Tarantinoing our way back. I've got it at 4.1 inches, could very well easily be still a four inch tall box, which would also be four inches wide as well. Now the box made of tin is an officially licensed product by Fourth Castle Micromedia. And again, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, you can swing on over to Twink's website. As you can see, it is a very faithful rendition, a recreation of the helmet, the Lamont uh, Hellraiser puzzle box configuration, the Lamont uh, configuration box from Hellraiser. Now here though, it's actually listening as Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. It seems to be one of the few licensed sequels where you can actually get collectibles from. I seem to see more Hellraiser 3 uh, collectibles and stuff like that being released to the market than the original uh, Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2. Likely due to the studio that was releasing it uh, has probably had the, uh, again, the licensing more available for Hellraiser 3. But even if you class this as Hellraiser 3 or certainly class this as any one of the Hellraiser films, the Lemmet configuration puzzle box is, again, beautifully recreated here in tin. It's, it's all done in tin. And you'll probably see right off the bat too, it's even finished on the underside, which is one thing I do like about this. As it being normally a tin, storage tins, as I certainly have enough of these in my days, usually the underside is always like just the untouched, naked silver tin. Here though, they've actually finished it on this side as well to match the one that's the plating that's on the top side. Top and the bottom would match. And then again, the sides would match their opposite end sides. Uh, as you can see, it's very reflective. One thing I'll probably do right off the bat is remove this part here. I started to remove it and I thought to myself, I might probably just keep it on there for the sake of this review. But as you can see, just in case you are picking this up for yourself, residual, the one thing I would have worried that the sticker would have left behind, uh, is not the case. You can take the sticker right off. There is no as you can see, there is no residue left on the puzzle box, and you're just left to a very pristine, very shiny puzzle box. Now, it does open. Um, as you can see on the inside, you've still got the mirrored label. Uh, on the inside, it says Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth, and then down below that, you've got 2018 Miramax LLC and Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. Um, I'll probably eventually take that label off as well, but at least you're not going to be seeing it from the outside when you put the lid on. The lid is kind of double stacked, a little bit thicker. I also do like that as well. Sometimes when you get these tins, they're only just as thick as the lid itself. So it sits a little loose. This one is not necessarily the case because it's sitting f further down when you're putting it in the inside cavity of the puzzle box. When we open it up, you're not going to see anything inside nor are you not going to see the gateway into hell itself, but instead what you're treated to is a nice open area that you could put anything into, really. You could put pens, you could put candy, you could put chains, but that probably is hitting a little too close to home. But it definitely has an ideal 4x4 uh, four four sized frame, in which, again, you can put anything really into it. Uh, pencils, of course, would be a little bit more of a harder issue because the pencils would stick further out and it would certainly defeat the purpose that you would be able to put then a lid on top of it. Um, it does feel stable and sturdy for despite the fact that 
the inside is really hollow. And like I said, the printing is done very nicely here. It's slightly a little bit more distorted. It's not the clearest of image, but again, you get the still the wood grain happening there. And then the tin plate, the plating that they would have put over top of that when they recreated this for the film. It's funny though, for all the years that I've been looking at puzzle boxes, there's still the odd comment that I get where people are like, well, I don't get the puzzle. It doesn't actually open. It doesn't move as a puzzle. Why are you calling it the puzzle box? But again, that's what it's called in the film. Even though there is nothing really working to it, you can't open up and summon the Cenobites, but it's still a nice recreation of the puzzle box used not only just in the Hellraiser 3 films, but in really all of the Hell the Hellraiser franchise. And yes, to dis disappoint some of you, unfortunately the Lama Configuration Puzzle Box Tin will not summon Pinhead, nor will it summon any of the other Cenobites, nor will it open up the doorway to Hell. It just will store pens, pencils, uh, paper clips, candy, cookies, and anything else that you think can fit into a, a 4x4 tin. Again, this is a officially licensed box resembling the Lamet Configuration Puzzle Box from the Hellraiser hit films. They just so happen to label this as Hellraiser 3, but again, it's just the Hellraiser Puzzle Box from any one of the Hellraiser films. Again, I picked this up over at Toink. The price point there, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, is a very reasonable $13.99, so about $14. Toink's got a good, huge selection of replicas, collectibles, and other cool things that you can get either for that special somebody in your life, for birthdays, Christmases, Hanukkah, and other things, or just pick this up for yourself, which is kind of what I ended up doing for myself. I picked this up, and I'll put this on display with my other cool puzzle boxes from Hellraiser. And no, it's not actually a functional puzzle box, but that's probably what the title's going to be in this video. Today we were again looking at the Hellraiser 4-inch Puzzle Box Stash Storage Tin that you can currently pick up over at toink.com. If you guys want to go if you guys haven't had a chance yet, there you go, to hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly more videos will be coming your way, so make sure you hit that little subscribe and also hit that bell notification to guarantee you that when new videos are coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.